In this video, I'm going to break down the top 10 courses on Coursera that you should take. And I'm both going to be using my own personal experience from taking these courses in the past, but also the current job market and what skills are in demand for high paying jobs. We're also going to consider reviews and how popular these courses are to make sure that these courses are really worth it. I'm also going to be mentioning how future proof they are because a lot of people are worried that AI is going to replace your future careers. And just a small disclaimer before we get started, this video is not sponsored and I am going to talk about both with pros and cons, but I do get a small commission if you decide to use my link in the description, which helps me make videos like this. The first one is Google Data Analytics, which is a beginner course by Google. Now, data analytics is a highly in-demand field, and I've actually taken this course myself a lot. It is very slow paced and you focus on the fundamentals, but I think that's exactly what you need as a beginner. This is one of the most popular Coursera courses of all time, with over 1.7 million people that have enrolled. The courses bring you from a complete beginner to a good understanding of the field, teaching you how data analysis works and some useful tools like the programming language SQL. In the end, there's also a final capstone project, which you can show to future employers when looking for a job. When it comes to the field itself, data analytics is a rapidly growing tech field with over 483,000 job openings. The salaries are pretty high and you don't need a lot of programming or technical skills to get started. And you don't even need a degree. So I think it's a really good course for beginners looking to upskill themselves and get into the field quickly. I'll leave a link to this course and all the other courses in the description. Next up, we have Python for everyone. Python is a programming language and it's highly in demand on the job market. If you know Python, you'll make a lot more money. Now, Python is actually one of the easiest programming languages to learn as a beginner. And what I like about this course is that you need zero technical experience. You can be pretty inexperienced with computers in general. You don't need any IT skills to get started. They gently teach you everything and Professor Shuck will slowly help you learn and understand Python. The program consists of five different courses. Firstly, it's a really gentle introduction to what programming is and then it goes more into what python is and how to use it and then you finish up with a capstone project where you put your new skills into a final project now with python you can get many different tech jobs and it's such a valuable skill to learn and it's also pretty easy to learn as a beginner like i said i think it's a great course if you've been thinking about learning programming but never really started or you think it's too hard Number three is the Google IT support. Now Google's courses are amazing for beginners and this one will teach you the fundamentals of IT starting from zero and giving you a broad knowledge of the field. It comes with five different courses and I've taken a couple of these courses here and they're super valuable even if you don't wanna work as a support person. They'll give you an advantage in any role because we all deal with IT somehow. Your network might stop working, your computer becomes slow or you need to fix a printer. These skills are not just for IT support people. Knowing these skills will also make you a much stronger candidate for other tech roles such as programming jobs because you have that fundamental IT knowledge and a proof of that, a certificate directly from Google. There are lots of jobs in IT support that you can access after completing this course and you can get them without any experience or a degree and it's a highly in-demand field. Number four is different. It is not a traditional course but it's going to teach you perhaps the most important thing in life. This course is called The Science of Well-Being by Yale University. Over 4 million people have taken this course, and it's not long at all, but it's going to teach you how to practice gratitude, find inner happiness, meditate, and live a better life. And this can impact your career too, of course, because if you achieve a better inner state and have more focus, I guarantee that you'll do better in your career and make a lot more money. This course is just a bonus, but I highly recommend spending some time on yourself and not just your career, because it's going to pay off in the long run. Okay, let's get back to it. IBM Full Stack Software Developer. This course might sound a little bit more difficult, but it is a beginner course and no experience is needed at all and during four months at 10 hours per week you will learn lots of different things about programming and development and new technologies and that is really the main benefit of this course it's going to introduce you to so many different areas and technologies that you can really find your own passion and what you want to continue working with the courses teach you the basics of many different things and having this general skill is very valuable but I do recommend you to specialize after because you'll be way more likely to get a job if you know something really well. You also get an IBM certificate at the end and I would say avoid this course if you want deep knowledge about one thing but definitely take this course if you want to learn a lot and gain valuable skills in many different areas of IT. 
All right, next one is the Google UX design. And this course is for beginners and it's gonna teach you the fundamentals of UX design, which involves the experience users have when using websites, apps and programs and so on. And your job as a UX designer is to make those experiences great. For example, Apple has had a lot of UX designers spend time to make their iPhones incredibly smooth and easy to use so that the user experience becomes awesome. It's a very creative role and you have to test ideas and see what designs or features people add actually enjoy in the real world. It comes with seven individual courses, starting with teaching you the basics, moving on to the design process, testing and researching what people like, and also how to prepare for jobs once you've completed the program, which is super, super important. Speaking about jobs, there are a lot of great UX design jobs available. The median salary is 112,000 per year for UX designers. And with over 138,000 job openings in the US alone, it's safe to say that UX design is a great field to get into. I think this course is perfect for for creative beginners looking to go down that path quickly. Course seven is the Google Digital Marketing and E-Commerce. And this is a professional certificate with both pros and cons. I think it's really good myself, but you should be aware of both sides before you get started. Now, digital marketing is about attracting customers for your company, often using social media like YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. It can be through advertisement that you pay for or by just posting on social media. And this is incredibly important. I mean, we spend so much time online that brands need to be present there or they have no chance. They're not to make any sales. So digital marketers are highly in demand because companies need to be online and they need to find their customers online. In this professional certificate, we have seven different courses, starting from learning the foundations to how to actually attract the right customers, specific things like email marketing, and then how to build e-commerce stores. And this is a great skill to have, whether you want to become an employee or start your own business and work for yourself in digital marketing. Digital marketing is an amazing field and you don't even need a degree to get a job and there are lots of job openings, over 200,000 jobs in the US alone. I highly recommend this course for beginners looking to get into the field quickly. Okay, we're getting to the final few courses, but these ones are really, really good. Number eight, Google Project Management. And this one has been praised by many people as being some sort of a lifesaver for those looking to become a project manager. A project manager basically runs company projects, they communicate with their boss and other stakeholders like clients, and they make sure that the team is doing what they're supposed to do. What's really cool about this job is the amount of different industries that you can work in as a project manager because everybody needs a project manager. So you can actually work for a company that you find really interesting and that are doing something that you like. The program itself will teach you the basics of how to successfully run a project and plan things out. At the end, you get a verifiable certificate, which is going to be very helpful when you apply for one of the 715,000 open project management roles in the US alone. Yes, I'm actually talking about 750,000 jobs, and that's a lot of jobs, and their salary is really good too. So it's definitely a good course for beginners. Number nine is social media marketing, and not just by any company. This course is by Meta, you know, the people behind Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, and more. So yeah, we can really just go on all day. It's pretty safe to say that these people know social media and how social media marketing works. So it's a really good place to be. These courses will teach you the basic marketing principles and of course how to use social media for advertisement and marketing campaigns and much, much more. It's for complete beginners and no prior experience is needed. And to be honest, these jobs can be pretty competitive when you get started, but it is an incredibly valuable skill whether you decide to become a social media marketer or start your own business. It is a little bit tough as a beginner to get your first job, but after you pass that level, it's going to be much, much easier and the salary is great. You don't need a degree or experience to become a social media manager and social media is such a powerful tool for companies and this job is not going away in the foreseeable future. Finally, Google IT automation with Python. And this one sounds complicated, but it's actually a beginner course. And like I said, Python is a very valuable programming language to know and IT jobs pay a lot of money. So if you combine Python and IT, you get this Google program and that's why it's so great. The courses basically teach you Python and important IT stuff and then you put it all together. When you complete the program, you also get access to 150 US companies hiring people with this exact certificate so you can get a shortcut to a job in the field. This actually applies to most Google programs, so check that out if you're considering taking a Google program, for example, the Google IT support. I hope this was helpful. There are some great opportunities there to learn and improve your career opportunities. All you have to do is to make use of them. I'll leave all links in the description. Like and subscribe if you want more helpful videos like this to pop up in your YouTube feed and I'll see you in the next video right here.